Hi guys, Gigahertz here again. For this video, we're going to cover one of the first, most basic things that most players probably don't even think about, and that is hand placement. For the most part, as gamers, we are hard-lined to put our hands on the keyboard where we would naturally use movement keys. As time goes by, hopefully we'll start changing that into actual keybinds for spells and abilities. But at the beginning, for the most part, we're going to be using the, the keybinds for, for movement. So let's take a look at some of the options that we actually have with that. So we'll go to key bindings. And right now, uh, it's character specific, so I don't mess up anybody else. But I've set it up so it's semi the way that you'd expect it. Move forward, backward, left, right, straight, left, straight, right. And it's W, A, S, D, Q, E, and then the up, down, left, right. The reason why people use W, A, S, D is because your, your pinky is supposed to have more access to shift, control, and if it does a contortionist move, it can hit alternate. And you can hit other little abilities. Uh, it's scooted all the way over to the left because the belief is that you know your pinky needs to be like really really over there because it's so tiny that it can't actually do anything. But if anyone's ever played an instrument, whether it's guitar, piano, um, you know a, a string instrument, a woodwind, it doesn't really matter. If you played an instrument, you realize that you know, or really if you're just semi intelligent, you realize that your fingers are capable of some range of stretching motion. So. Uh, having it all the way over to WASD might not be advantageous, um, which we'll get a little bit more into in a minute. The other location that people put uh, their hand is on the up, down, left, right arrow. And that's, that's an okay idea because you end up with something that's very clear, forward, backwards, left, right. They're arrows. They're something that you can't really mess up. Uh, whereas WASD, you have to kind of build that into your mind. The problem with up, down, left, right is it offers very little ability to do keybinds for spells, abilities, and you know other things like that. So I would recommend not using those at all, uh, as they. I mean, maybe you can leave them for uh, like oh, I'm going to do something else purposes. Like I'm, you know, I want to. I don't. I'm not even really sure why you would really keep the extra keybind. But like that. I do know that, though, um, you know, having said that, my fiance actually uses the up, down, left, right arrow, but she keybinds with the numpad. So, you know, even though just now, like, I'm realizing, yeah, I guess other people can do it. Like, here's the important thing about keybinding keybinding is very individualized. So, what may work for me might not work for you because. As you progress as a gamer, you're going to have to develop your own ideas of, of where certain abilities should go and whether or not your offensive abilities should be close to your movement keys or whether your defensive abilities are the ones that you want close to your movement keys. I mean, obviously something like, you know, like a mage, uh, Blink and uh, Frost Nova, probably something I want pretty close to my movement abilities because I'm going to be doing those while moving. So I need them, you know, close and like I need to get out of dodge quickly because I'm basically made of crepe paper, so I'm, I'm going to drop like a rock. Um, so those are this is, this is the way that things are set up now. Here's how I set up my hand. Now, I don't actually use movement keybinds to a great degree, but like I said, we're going to go through this whole thing together. I'm going to you know, force myself into my left hand for movement for a while. I actually have even gone so far as to remove my action buttons for this bar. So I'm forcing myself to use my mouse to click, which is like, it's it's tough, but like, you know, like, and I, I'll have videos of that. I have some crazy shots of me, like, trying to do siege stuff with, you know, a mouse where I have to, like, click the target and then go back. And I'm moving, and I, you know, so we'll, you'll see that later. But, uh, ridiculous. So here's what I would recommend. I would recommend switching these keybinds for movement. This is the only thing that you have to do this video. Swift, switch them to E, D, and then to turn left, we want to use S. To turn right, we want to use F. Straight left is now going to be W, and straight right is going to be R. All you're going to be doing is you're moving your hand over one letter to the right. And you'll notice when you put your hand on the keyboard, 
you now have a spot where your pinky will lay on the A. And it's easy to get to the shift key just by a very small movement, and then the control key is down a little bit further. And there's obviously you know, going to be a lot more that you're going to realize of why that's so important later on. But for now, all I'm going to tell you is that keyboards are naturally designed for your hand to rest in close to that position. And there's also, on your keyboard, you can feel on the F, there's that little bump. It actually, like, it, those types of things are actually going to be helpful because the more you can actually have, like, a sense experience on a key, saying, well, that's, that's where home is. Like, that's, that's where my pointer, you know, like, my index finger lies, naturally. As you get better and better at using those, those little cues, you're going to get better at hand placement in the game. So here's my advice to you. My advice to you is to use this, this new thing and uh, use it until you switch from your, you know, movement keybinds to, let's say, your attack or, you know, like your ability keybinds. And suddenly you get to a point where your hand no longer goes to WASD, but it goes to ESDF instead. Or you're in the middle of a conversation, whether you're RPing or... You know, some guy wants something or, you know, like, yeah, I'll give you a port to so-and-so. And after you're done typing, your left hand just naturally falls on the uh, ESDF, you know, hotkey spot. And as soon as that happens, you're ready for the next step, um, which is going to be uh, just kind of like pushing things more out of movement key binding and a little bit more into key binding spells, abilities, both offensive and defensive, depending on you know what we're sort of going for. And as we do that, hopefully, we'll slowly get you more into mouse moving, um, but not all at once, because it's actually surprising how how tough it is for people who don't mouse move to switch into mouse moving. But that is it, and um, thank you very much, guys. Have a nice day.